We're gonna we're gonna touch a little bit on freedom and liberty. The idea that uh, you know there's there's not only one way to to gain your freedom. It does give you a certain amount of freedom and moving abroad gives you a certain amount So yeah freedom Freedom is like it's like Can I tell you a little story? It's short I promise I had these uh, These two doves you know that white doves they made for life, okay? They made for life. Yeah, they, they couple up and then that's it man. They don't go around with other doves They just stick to the bear so I had these two white doves, and I uh, kept them outside. I had this really fancy wooden cage. When I say fancy, it was huge. It was about this tall, and it had a big door on the back, and it, and it had it was on, sitting on legs. And I had it under this huge chestnut tree in the yard. It was nice and shady right there, because, you know, in the south it gets really hot. It was a really nice cage, and it had a big bowl of food in there. Uh, one day I went and fed them and the next day I went out there in my yard and I looked over at the cage and I noticed that I said oh my gosh oh my gosh and the door was like two feet tall the door to the cage by about a foot wide so it was a huge door and I had left it wide open wide open but guess what the doves were still in there they had the door wide open all night long and, and the previous evening too and, and the previous morning and the next morning and yet there they were they didn't go anywhere because their food was right there I guess I don't know I didn't ask them why didn't you go <laughs> yeah. so so that's how freedom is that's the story the freedom is uh, like that it's like for some people you know they're uh, content in the cage even though they you open the door they they won't fly out so and, you know, I'm just saying that it's different from everybody. You know, that's just the first story that came to my head. Because the doves were happy. They were healthy, they had lots of food, they were well taken care of. So, you know, I'm just saying, so, so freedom like that, it's just, it just depends on who you're talking to. Everybody's got a different line in the sand. And just... the hustle and bustle we're getting into it here so moving abroad yeah and, and trying to get freedom that way so but there is something that you can do though because like for years personally I provided personal services there in North America and, and you could do that in any city so you can take this idea of uh, location independent and use it in your own country yes you can, you can do that. You can use it in your own country and you can achieve a measure of freedom that way. So, uh, you know, maybe you're not ready to move abroad and maybe maybe it's just not for you, you know. Not everybody wants to be a wandering uh, nomad. Uh, a lot of people like to be uh, next to their friends and their family and maybe they're starting out and having a family and having children, small babies and stuff. Um, makes uh, things a lot challenging, more challenging, and children like a stable environment too. So, anyhow, uh, yeah, you can use this uh, location independent uh, idea to move around your own country. And then, and North America's huge. That's one thing about North America. It is huge, and, and there's all kind of different. People like to say, oh well, there's all kind of uh, terrains, and in Ecuador, there's coast, there's mountains. Go, guess what? There's coast and mountains in the states too. And <laughs> there's deserts, there's beaches, there's uh, everything is, is there in the States. And there are ways to take advantage of that at a low cost. I know that it's expensive there, but there are ways to take advantage of it in the States. And Hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle section here has taken over and you 
could go abroad and gain some freedom, but if you're not ready, you can gain freedom over there in the States. There's lots of people doing it, but one of the first steps that I would counsel in, a, in a, an aspiring uh, freedom lover is to change the, the kind of work that you do. Uh, like I say, back when I was uh, younger, there was no internet, so we didn't have the opportunity to, t to be a digital uh, person, but uh, you can still provide the kind of services that you can uh, provide to people anywhere in any city. Things like, uh, well, you name it, you can make all kinds of lists. You know, carpentry, plumbing, electrician, repair, house repair, everything. Carpet cleaning, house cleaning, window cleaning, you name it. I mean, you can buy and sell uh, stuff, you can buy it in one place, sell it in another place things like that. So there's a lot of things you can do. You speak the language. You can keep your freedom over there and I can even show you how to do it on a low budget. Uh, I did it for years. I did it for 20 years. I was a professional um, freedom loving, a frugal guy. <laughs> and so, and that's another thing. We're kind of morphing into these different areas. When we first came to Ecuador, this is all part of freedom. When we first came to Ecuador, we had no no intention uh, what direction things would take us. I mean, no no idea. And then when people started uh, just practically begging us for for help to, to find real estate, we didn't want to do it. We didn't want to do it. But finally, we we just had a hard time saying no, and uh, so we just erected that GringoGoodSamaritans.com. But we've got uh, uh, more plans for that now that the uh, market has changed people's needs have changed and a lot of you have given us a lot of feedback on what it is that you really want and so we've got uh, some new things in the works you know we're still going to help you and we're going to do things the way you want them done and you're going to receive the help the way you like to receive it and the way you've told us that you would like to receive it that's what we have in the works so i'm just letting you know to expect some changes coming to the websites and then you can tell us how we're doing and then we can if it needs improvement then we can improve it and make it better and all that kind of thing like that so so guys uh, don't despair you can grab your freedom even if you're not a digital uh, person yet you don't have to be you can uh, there's a lot of things you can do just uh, uh, think about it all right guys until the next video thanks for listening hasta la vista baby